On today's episode, we're going to take this website of Writer's Knock and we're going to improve the messaging, the layout, the image, and make it look like this. It's going to be fun. Stay tuned. All right, so let's dive in to the website that we're going to pimp this week. And this is the website of Writer's Knock. So basically, it seems after reading what they wrote here that this is some kind of a service that they send you stuff from upcoming authors and stuff like that. So they send you books and short stories and poems or something like that. But I want to cover what are my problems with this website. So first of all, get your daily dose of reading and then start reading. It sounds very simple and to the point, but I'm not really sure what's going on. What is this website? What kind of reading and what's going to happen when I'm going to click start reading? What will happen? Do I read it on the website? Do they send it over? Is it physical book? Is it digital book? So I think the messaging here is kind of lacking. Even if you go down here and you start reading all this long text about free entertainment website, it's still not very clear. Now, if I click start reading, it will take me into kind of a contact because apparently this is also for authors to send up their writings and also for readers. And so they try to combine both of these things into one form, which just makes it very confusing. So you don't really understand what's going on. Now, in terms of design and layout, you first of all, you have this text over this woman's face, which is like, you know, usually we look at faces of people and it just looks very bad. Now, I know this is kind of responsive. And if I change this to something else, it's not going to be on her eyes exactly, um, which is how it was when I first opened the website. But even if it's not completely on her eyes, it's still on her, on her face. And I'm wondering why this layout in this image now it completely disappeared. Um, but why? I just think it's a bad layout. And it's just like black on black, kind of like there's no feel here. And so I think this can be improved. So let's jump into let's jump into XD here and try to redo this. So one of the first things I want to deal with is this kind of composition. So I want to First of all, now that I understand that they're actually sending me this stuff through email, why the hell would I put a picture of somebody with a book? It doesn't make any sense. So I went in into Unsplash and I read, I wrote tablet reading because maybe you want to show that it, you're reading it digitally. Now, those are not like amazing pictures, but let's go with this one. Just because I see from the image composition that she's on the right and then I can put the text here on the left and at least it's not going to cover her face or something like that. So I'm going to copy this image and bring it back here into Adobe. Let me, oh, let me paste this inside of a rectangular just so we can uh, then later on use it as a mask for the hero. So let me scroll this up and you can already see that this composition is going to be better. Um, yeah, we can even make this kind of a longer yeah, so this is a nice hero section. Now we can bring in the text. Now let's talk about the text. So here is get your daily dose of reading, but what kind of reading? I would write something like um, get um, daily emails, emails with great stories, stories and, uh, uh, and poems, poems and and good reads i don't know but that's at least that explains to you now let's go with something like futura which is kind of similar to what they had i don't have futura on my computer that's weird yeah i do have futura let's make this big um now here with this image which is great i don't even have to create contrast if i do this wide and if i choose kind of a bold font it's going to be visible as it is and i don't even have to add kind of an overlay on top of it. So we can make even this text a little bit bigger so that we have kind of a big contrast, maybe reduce a little bit the line height so the text is tight. And yeah, breaks into two lines. And I would kind of do this, yeah, I like to put title case on my headings. I think it's more readable. Get daily emails with great stories, poems, and good reads. So I think this is a better kind of clear call to action. And then maybe I would put below this, I would kind of make a paragraph um, 
with smaller text, you know, something along these lines that really explains what this website is. So this website is called Writer's Knock. Let's copy some of the text here. Writer's Knock is a free, free entertainment website. On this website, you will find super entertaining books, blah, blah, blah. So what are you waiting for? So this is actually not a good, we've actually don't need to say this anymore because basically this is what we've wrote in the main title. But maybe let's go into about and see what they're writing about themselves. Homebrewed online entertainment, which partners up with authors, bloggers to give them a platform. So we can actually say here, we partner with the best upcoming writers writers to send you great uh, send you your great daily read or something like this so now you understand what they're by the way for this we do not need the title case anymore um, we partner with the best upcoming writers to send you great daily reads now you understand what they're doing and now let me move this up a little bit to the top. Now I'm wondering if for the small text, do we need actually more con uh, more contrast here? But because I can open this up probably in Photoshop, edit in Photoshop, I can actually make this, give a little bit of contrast to the image. I don't wanna give overlay. I know the easy thing to do is always add kind of a black overlay on top of an image to create content, contrast. But here in Photoshop, I can create a new layer, set it up as something like, you know, overlay and go with a big, large, large brush. Let's see. And make this not, not white. Sorry. Let me delete that and go with a black brush. Yeah. And that's kind of like, you see, it's not really painting in black because it's an overlay mode, not on her face, but we can make the, the steps here darker. Um, you know, I can make this like l lower opacity. Now uh, you can make this more gentle, right? But you don't notice that this image is edited right now, right? But when I jump back in, we have more contrast here. So that's kind of a quick hack. To do this, obviously, you'd want to make this more nice, nicer than the way I did this. But um, yeah, this looks okay. Let's bring in, by the way, the logo and the navigation. So writers knock. This looks up. There's not really a logo here, right? So this is writer knock. I would maybe do it in kind of without the space, so it would look more logoy. Writers. Let's remove this knock to make it more like you know, trademark or something like this to make it a feel of a logo. Um, but we can make this even like 40 or something like this. And for, I think for the navigation, so they have home. I hate to put another home button. I usually you, uh, use the writer, like the logo as the home button. Then start reading, which you have here already, then about and contact. And about and contact are pretty similar. Don't really understand the difference between them. Um, but this website is still looks like, no, it, they're not the same. All right, so let's do start reading, start reading, and then about and contact. About and contact, contact. All right. So let's space them out kind of evenly. All right. And, oh, dang. Now I, let me copy this and undo, 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 because I accidentally, classically, moved, deleted this. But now I did the hack, copy it, brought it back. And now let's create kind of the button. And guess why it works here. So I would do something like register or start reading. I'm wondering, because originally I wondered what start reading means, but now we told people that you're getting daily emails. So I guess it's clear if we write start reading, you'll have to put in your email. 
But I would also do something like learn more or something like that in case, you know, people don't really understand how this works and what are you going to get. So I would make something here that's like how it works, how it works, which would basically maybe scroll into the second. Um, let's make this white border. So this kind of like in in line inverted uh, button here, what's called a ghost button. And then I would make a second section here that is actually the explanation of how this works. Right now, again, I showed you that when you click the start reading, it goes into this weird form, which is for both sides of the, because they actually also need writers to send. So I would actually add another page that I would call for writers, because um, you want writers to understand the value proposition for them, writers. You know, if you're an upcoming writer, you want them to send your stuff to a lot of people. So for writers, I would actually add a page for the writers themselves so that we don't mix. There's different value proposition for the readers and the writers. Here, I'm wondering, they used black. I would try to create a color, just like give it more livelihood. Maybe I would use a color from this palette. So it's kind of an orangey kind of feel to it. Yeah, I think I'll go with this kind of a color um, just so we have kind of a similar palette for the website. And then here, by the way, this, I feel like this text can be really smaller, maybe like 25 or something like that, or 31. Maybe this should be bold. No, no. All right, so I just feel like smaller text would be kind of more appropriate here. Um, it looked a little bit bulky with the big, big text there. Um, and here, I would basically do something like explanation of what they do. Um, so I would write here something like how it works. And this is probably the H2 of the website. So this is the main heading of the website, and this is the second one. So it should be smaller than this. If this is 70, let's make this something like 55. Um, and then I would write some kind of a, let's see if it's aligned to this. Not sure that it's aligned. I would bring in another paragraph here where I would say, um, you know, writers knock. Here I would actually bring in a little bit of the about text. Do, 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 do. Let me take some of that text here. We are a homebrew entertainment company which partners with authors, bloggers, blah, blah, blah. I wonder if this is a good text here or this should actually stay within the about. So basically, let's simplify this. Let's make this kind of like steps one, two, three. So let's say step one, leave, uh, enter your email, enter your email, enter your email. And then step two, step two, um, we uh, get a daily email with a short story. And then again, I'm not really sure how this works, but then I would maybe step three, um, you know, support the author or something like this. I would kind of like make it clear that you should just put your email and then we'll send it to you. Because um, right now you might not want to click start reading. You don't know how this is going to end up or what's going to happen. So I would create this kind of like one, two, three thing, which you can probably better design. Uh, maybe you want to do something like this and probably you can create some nice, fancy icons maybe. Let's bring them here. Um, maybe we can just use one with bold text. Hey, we're not with Futura anymore. Let's put this here. So basically something like this. 
Let's put this here. Enter your email. Maybe I would even make this kind of a, a timeline that shows like what happens. So I would make this line here to we send you daily content. And then I don't know what happens afterwards. Happy life. Maybe develop or develop a healthy reading habit because I think it's obviously based on what they're saying here um, kind of a daily read it's for people who want to have that habit of writing or reading daily so maybe something like this would be nice and then of course I might I'm not sure if there's anything to elaborate in terms of text. There's not too much into it. Um, but I would put the kind of form here. So I would join or maybe start reading. And then here I would put the form where people can actually go ahead and put their full name and then email. And then I would put the form somewhere like this. Or let's remove this. And maybe give it a little bit of little bit of padding. All right, something probably along these lines. Well, I'm not sure I improved it that much, but again, I think with a better layout, image, and messaging, I think this website can be much clearer than what we're seeing right now. I hope you found this helpful. And uh, yeah, if you have any more suggestions for website that you want us to try to improve, pimp, make them better. <laughs> make sure you're following on Instagram and submitting the websites over there. And I will see you on the next video. Video. Stay safe, stay home, stay healthy. See you on the next video.